Hey, welcome back to the video training. In this video, we're going to be talking about notebook stacks. Now, before we get into that, let me just give you a brief rundown of how the filing system kind of works. Okay, I'm sure at your office or in your home, you have a filing cabinet. And that filing cabinet has a couple drawers, and then inside of that filing cabinet are folders, which you have notes inside of the folders and documents and things of that nature. Okay, so let's look at how that relates to Evernote. Evernote, you have notebooks, which become your filing cabinets, and then you can stack those notebooks, which become your filing drawers, and then your folders inside of those drawers are actual tags. Okay, so we're going to need to stack some notebooks. However, you can only stack a notebook one deep. So after that, you need to subcategorize with tags after that. So let's take a look at how you can stack notebooks and the different ways you can stack notebooks. Now, the first way is let's say inbox and action um, for me are in a um, similar category. So what I'm going to do is take this and take the action and drag it right up to inbox. That's going to create a new notebook stack. And then I'm going to rename that to GTD because GTD, you know, you have actions and you have, uh, you have notebooks and things like that. So <clears throat> now I have a GTD inbox. Now let's say I want to, or a note notebook, let's say I want to add another uh, notebook inside of GTD. Um, I can, uh, right click and create a notebook inside a GTD and we have a new notebook inside there. Now I messed that up so I need to delete it. I can just right click and delete. That takes it out of the stack. Now let's say I want to take action out of this notebook or out of this notebook stack. I can right click and click on remove from stack. Okay, now it's outside of the stack. If I want to put it back in, I just drag it back on. That puts it back in. Now Let's say for instance, ah, you know what? I really don't need this notebook stack. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I can right click and delete, but here's the cool thing. It's not going to delete the notebooks or the notes that are inside of that stack. It's just gonna separate them out. So I delete that and as you can see, we have inbox and action is right back out here um, for us uh, and ready to go. So really that's as easy, that's how easy it is. And I'll, I'll give you an example of how I use stacks. Um, you know, I have content ideas and that's my filing cabinet and the drawers inside of that fi filing cabinet are blog post ideas and product ideas. And then we have life and we have bills, insurance, maintenance, and work. Now I want to separate this out more. So I add a couple folders inside of that drawer. And how do I do that? I do that by making tags. So inside of my bills, um, folder, I have different tags, which are, are my um, actual folders inside of the filing drawer, which are cable bills, car insurance, electric bills, health insurance, and so on. And if I wanted to sort those more, I could add different um, tags inside of here. And with tags, you can stack as many as you need, uh, you know, unlimited de depth. So you can get real creative with how you separate your stuff. So that's how stacked notebooks work. Remember, you can only stack one deep with notebooks. You're going to have to sort um, at a further level with tags from there. So thanks. Hopefully this was helpful. And as always, hopefully I'll see you on the beaches of the world. Hey, thank you very much for checking out our Evernote training. If you want more, just click on the playlist annotation to the right. It says click here for the playlist, and that will give you access to all of our Evernote training listed publicly here on YouTube. Now, if you would like a little bit more, on the left, you can click on that link and get access to some privately listed Evernote training videos that we have that is exclusive on our website. You can get access to that as well by clicking on the annotation to the left. Thank you once again, and as always, hopefully I'll see you on the beaches of the world.